This is a reading for Tim. And so I've laid out several triads of energy. First triad are um, the possible astro sign of the person on your mind. If you've come to tarot, it's due to some sort of discord in your romantic life. And this reading is timeless. So you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Libra. Um, you can see in the frame I have the Devil card propped up. That's the Capricorn card. These cards will also set the tone for the reading. I do have crystals to represent earth, flowers to represent air, water in the vase for water, and a candle burning for fire to draw down the goddess. So you have the devil card and um, this relationship, situationship that you may be in could have um, a toxic element to it. There could be a feeling of being bound to one another. Um, in the card, there is a woman and a man and this card also mirrors that card. So I'm just gonna hold them a bit closer so you can see. But um, the devil card is like the lover's card gone wrong. So you can see that the figures in the devil card are bound by chains and they've grown horns and tails and they're not in control anymore. They're being controlled. Sometimes the devil card can represent addiction and um, just being um, at the will of something outside of yourself as opposed to being in control. So there could be some sort of toxic element to the relationship. Um, there could be some narcissism going on. However, it is a very strong connection with the lover's card. Um, that's the card you want to see in a in romance reading. It indicates uh, like a soulmate, twin flame, spiritual connection that's, that transcends time. Like you feel like you know this person because you've known them before in a different life. And uh, if you pull the lover's card when you're asking about somebody on your mind, that's an indication that this is um, going to be a, an intense connection and relationship. And there's an um, element of um, fairness to this connection um, with the Justice card. The Justice card is your card, the card of Libra. I'm going to show you. And maybe... Um, there's some sort of legal aspect to this relationship. Uh, this could have been your marriage. Um, if this person on your mind could have, could have been married to them. Um, and if it's not that, it's just that there's a very, um, there's a fairness to the connection. There's an equal give and take despite the toxicity and the intensity. So, the next set of three is the energy of the person on your mind towards you. And again, we get the Justice card. This is a different deck. Um, so, they feel that you're being fair in some aspect. Again, there could be some sort of legal tie. Um, so they feel that you're honest and fair. They also um, want to come towards you uh, with communication with the Knight of Swords. Um, that's one of the fastest moving energies in the tarot. And so they'd like to come quickly and they'd like to communicate. Um, there could be a recklessness towards you um, and just coming in strong. They feel that you're non-committal with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
and uh, they may feel that you're like a workaholic um, or there may they may see you as having some financial setbacks and then I got their next actions towards you which I have the nine of pentacles the knight of pentacles and the page of cups in reverse so this is the second night knights um, or any court cards can indicate different people so there could be um, you know an element of more than one person involved or this could be like you know despite the fact that this could be two sides of the same person so despite the fact that they want to come rushing in with the Knight of Swords, their Knight of Pentacle energy indicates that they're going to come in slowly towards you. They also um, may come in with a very single energy, like the Nine of Pentacles is someone who has everything that they need. Um, they're independent, comfortable, happy, with their little pet bird on their shoulder. And so they're, they're coming in with a single energy slowly and they're not offering you love with the page of cups in reverse. And um, if they do, offer you any love you may feel that it's fishy there's a fish in the cup um they're not apologizing and your energy toward this person is the next set of three so you have the five of swords reverse the two of pentacles and the strength card whenever i see the strength card i think that like this this is the image on the card it's a a, a woman taming a lion and so there could be some sort of um, feeling like this person tames the wild beast within you and there's love there there's a lot of love and lust um, this card also indicates that this card also to me in regards to a relationship indicates that it's a strong relationship that could potentially last. You also feel like you're having to um, juggle more than one thing, maybe more than one person even. You have the Two of Pentacles. Um, you may uh, have an issue with knowing how to prioritize this person and you feel like you want to avoid a conflict with them with the five of swords in reverse you don't want to have an argument and there may be some element of past resentment that you feel toward this person so um At the bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is like a missed opportunity or lack of a commitment, lack of offer of a commitment. And then I pulled a card to represent the person on your mind just for further confirmation. And I pulled it from my movie tarot deck and the card I got was the High Priestess. So maybe your person, um, is witchy. <laughs> this is Lydia from Beetlejuice, like one of my favorite characters. I want to be her for Halloween um, this year, maybe. Um, but like, okay. Um, your person may have pale skin and dark hair and compelling eyes, uh, maybe very beautiful and may have some secrets with the High Priestess. We're gonna get the outcome of this energetic cycle, which we'll say ends at the next full moon. I'm gonna clarify with 
my Gentle Thrills tarot deck, which I love. So we're just going to get the outcome of this energetic cycle by the next full moon, which is about two weeks out. We just had a new moon. I usually pre-shuffle because I take too long to shuffle, but bear with me. Some other signs on the table are late Capricorn, early Aquarius, Virgo, late Aries, early Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Leo. Could be any sign. outcome for Tim and the person on his mind within this energetic cycle of energy. Okay, interesting. So you got the Hierophant. I'll show you the card. This is the card of commitment. Uh, sometimes it's like the marriage card. This is also uh, the card of um, like doctrine, tradition. Um, so perhaps you're going to come into alignment with your beliefs um, and commit to one another because you also have the Ten of Pentacles this time upright, which indicates like the culmination of all that you could ever want. Um, you know, your tens are the end in tarot that lead to a new beginning. And this is an abundant new beginning with wealth and home and commitment. And there may be some grief also with the five of cups. So, you know, maybe you or your person will have to grieve your single days because it looks like you're coming together. I am going to do a little bibliomancy for further clarification. And we do have Taurus as well on the table. I'm going to use my evolution of awareness book and I'm just going to open randomly and we'll get a little wisdom a little more wisdom about this connection This, ki this kiss came from who? This kiss came from where? Not from the old man's son, but from the one main son. With each pe pack, I'm sorry, I can't read. <laughs> with each pack, her cells became more intelligent. With each pack, her purpose became clear and more relevant. Thoughts were exchanged. A higher shift in consciousness was arranged. No gazing, eyes closed, still allowing it to kiss her third eye. No clothes on. Okay, that's a good one. Um, all right, I'm going to end this reading, Tim, with a yes or no question. Oops. Without a doubt was the answer. I hope this reading helped, Tim. I love you and may the source be with you.